Hello, my darlings. Hello, my darlings. It is Tuesday once again. So here's our Tuesday's dinner. <sighs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> I see ya. <laughs> I love another meals vlog. Um, we've just uploaded one, as always, it being Tuesday night and all. So I'll link it up there in case you fancy going back and having a look because something carries forward on this one as well on the last night last night for us monday we had a big veg dinner mashed potato carrots cabbage spinach peas and sweet corn that's the leftovers fried up into what we would call bubble and squeak with the tesco's no meat plant chef no meat pie uh the last of a bag of um sweet potato fries i had in the freezer and some peas i've got a bit of sauce bit of hot sauce bit of mayo bit of bread bit of telly we've had these pies before we have not had them for a good while no I? they're very very cost effective i'm sure they're less than three quid and you get four in the box and they you, you know what i mean they've got nothing on my linda mccartney's but they're a good pie. Cheap as chips, aren't they? Yeah, they're a belting pie. Brown as toast. <laughs> so there you go, my loves. It's pie, bubble and squeak, sweet potato fries and peas. Tuesday night's dinner. Welcome back to another Meals Vlog. See you tomorrow. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Wednesday night. It's Jason's late teaching night, so it's 9pm. And it's uh, it's it's not really a quick throw together meal, actually. So, yeah. No, and it's very much based on the tofu. I had a block of uh, tofu, T O F O O, in the fridge dated today, and I thought I'll use that up. So I marinate, I cut it into cubes, marinated it with a little bit of sesame oil, some uh, dark mushroom flavored soy sauce, a tiny bit of Hendo's, Henderson's relish. Um, and some black sesame seeds. Fried that off first, then set it aside. Fried up some shredded white cabbage, julienne carrot and edamame. Added the tofu back in with a tablespoon of peanut butter and some chilli sauce mixed together. Nice. So that's all caught in the, the stir fry. And then a simple um, brown rice cooked with a chicken style uh, oxo cube and then spring onions and a paratha. Have a taste, promise. I will, I will. I'm just going to try a bit of the tofu, but let's see it. Right yeah, here. yeah. Do that. Mm. Mm. So the first thing I get is a bit peanutty. Which nice. Is beautiful. Bit of heat. Lovely texture. It's lovely. Nice. So, it's tofu, veg and rice, but made a bit fancy. With me fancy ways. <laughs> <laughs> Right then, bye loves. It's Jason's lunchtime taste tests. Hello, you lovely person, and this is what I have for my lunch today. Uh, from good old Aldi, of course. Um, I think it was about two quid, but don't quote me on that. So it's around two quid, no chicken, chip shop style curry. Kind of gutted that it doesn't come with chips. It's rice and curry. Um, the picture is a little bit deceiving. If I was at home, I may have it with chips, but I'm at work and it's a lunchtime taste test. So nutritional information there, quite high on the salt slash sodium content. Clearly marked vegan. It doesn't get any clearer than that. Look at it, which is great. Um, let's just have a little bit of a look at the back, just very briefly. There you go. Textured soy protein based pieces in a chip shop style curry sauce with cooked rice. Now, I don't have massively high expectations on this, but fingers crossed it's going to be tasty. The rice ain't going to be too mushy and it's going to fill a hole and just be nice. So, I'll get it nuked and I'll let you know. This is what it looks like. Fresh out of the microwave, took about eight minutes total from frozen or partially frozen, I have to be fully transparent. It did come to work with me and then get stuffed in the fridge for a couple of hours, but um, let's give it a try. Okay, let's try the rice first, let's just dive straight in. I'm giving it a little bit of time to cool down. Okay, the rice on its own, as you may expect, is quite bland. 
there's not much flavour to it at all. However, that's what the chip shop curry sauce is there for, surely. So, try a bit of that with the rice. And try a bit of the uh, soy protein. Okay, I've had a few mouthfuls now. It's just okay. It's not brilliant. The chip shop curry sauce is the best bit about it. And even that isn't massively flavoursome. Um, don't get me wrong, for the money, it's absolutely fine. Um, and maybe there's an element of it that it, you know it doesn't do fantastically in the microwave. Which is fair, you know, there is uh, the option to oven cook as well. Maybe it'll come out better if you cook it in the oven. But, um, yeah, I'm not blown away by it. It's a bit mushy, to be honest, and not massively flavoursome. Um, but you know what? I'm still going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's not that bad, all told. It's just that there's a lot of other stuff out there that's really good. So, I'm going to get the rest of this scoffed, and then... Uh, I've got a dentist appointment this afternoon, so at some point I'm going to have to whip home, clean my teeth, get to the dentist, and then enjoy a well-deserved bank holiday weekend. We've got two back-to-back -back because it's the King's coronation for anyone that's interested. Uh, I'm not massively interested myself personally, but uh, anyway, that's by the by. Uh, get the rest of this eaten, get on with the weekend, and... Um, yeah, I was going to say I hope you have a good weekend too, but you'll be watching this on a Tuesday. It would make no sense at all. So what I will say is what I often say. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, you're enjoying it, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Um, it helps get the Down to Earth Vegan message out there. And uh, take care of yourself, and I'll see you very soon. Hello, my loves. Before I show you that, it's Thursday. Yay! We're off now till Wednesday. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, do I show you the box? We're having the Dr. Urka's Restaurant Pizza Margarita Bomondori. I think it's fair to say, personal preference obviously prevails, but I know for you, and I think for me, this might be the best vegan frozen pizza on the market. This is the, this is absolutely my favorite yeah. of all vegan pizzas because of its simplicity. Mm -hmm. Beautiful cherry tomatoes of different colours, beautiful pesto, lovely vegan cheese, delicious pasta sauce, crispy, crispy bread. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it's a beautiful, beautiful pizza. And if you've never had one, cannot recommend it highly enough. And of course, when you're having a beautiful pizza, what do you think we're going to have, kids? <laughs> Yeah, you already know, don't you? Is everybody ready? Is everybody ready for the song? It's the shitting of the salad. It's shitting. Oh, you did a great job, Jason. Thanks. Let's go to the round plate. You, you've took it too far. Oof. You've took it too far. I hurt myself then, actually. You hurt everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, ray, the salad is just mixed leaves, spinach, rocket, red onion, and uh, the last of the plum tomatoes. That's it. Slice of bread, because when we, whenever we have pizza and salad, we like to finish with a salad butty. It's a northern thing, you know. It, uh, yeah, yeah, it kind of is. As well. Well, it is for us too, yeah. isn't it? We're just northern lads. Northern lads, we like bread. We do. Uh, so there you go, my darlings. Uh, pizza, pomodori, and salad. Thursday night's dinner. And now I've got some wine. I'm gagging for that, Barbara. But back to dinner. <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Friday night and we're live in, well, an hour and 15 minutes, actually. It's quarter to eight. We're live at nine o'clock. So I hope you joined us when we were live. That would have been nice. It's our usual um, Chinese-style platter. Everything that we get from Wing Yip. Uh, the satay sticks the vegetable dumplings, the uh, king prawns, um, the breaded drumstick, the edamame, 
all from Wing Yip, the rice is from Sainsbury's. Um, we do have a vlog of what the, all of this is, but they covered onto the, uh, the mock prawn and the satay sticks there is our own blend of crunch peanut butter and in corner hot sauce, it's gorgeous. Dipping sauce, dark and light soy sauce, white rice vinegar, spring onions, red and green finger chilies, and a paratha. It's been quite a while since we've had this. Well, I think it was uh, it was a little bit of last night's meal, wasn't it? Was it last night's meal? No, two nights ago we had the tofu and the rice, and I was like, oh, that's got me in the mood now. Yeah. So, there you go. It's mm. our lovely Chinese platter, and it's no doubt it is going to be delightful. It always is. So, we bid you adieu. And in my own words, bye, loves. Hello, my loves, it's Saturday night, and if you were paying attention last night, you already knew this is what we're having, <laughs> based on that packet of lavy bacon, which we got for less than half price from, were it Sainsbury's? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. so we're having hash browns, lavy bacon, um, Sainsbury's own baked beans, fried half a tomato, wilted spinach, and scrambled tofu made with the uh, tofu from Aldi. You know... Brenna, a couple of toast each. Delicious. It's going to be spot on. Oh, you it? can't. Sometimes you can't beat a Brenna. And this looks like a cracking Brenna. You know what I'm going to start with? I'm what? I'm going to start with this. And I'm going to do it right now. Bit of bean. <laughs> Bit of ash brown. Lady Isis is taking all the attention again. <laughs> Hello. Ch -ch -ch. Darling. She's a very ignorant child. She's so ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> Brenna, it's what's for dinner. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Sunday evening, and as Jason just expertly said, in fact, you say it, mouth boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think what Paul was, uh, was alluding to was uh, when I was in the kitchen just getting our water, I said, this is feels like the perfect meal when you've had a couple of sunny summer hours at the allotment. All right, I'll drag it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, you you know, we went to um, Asda recently and bought this pack of OMV um, pumpkin and red chilli pesto. Used it all in this pasta dish tonight, which we're serving with just a really simple salad. That's whole wheat penny, by the way. Um, whole meal penny uh, and we've got rocket baby plum tomatoes and red onion that's it with a bit of uh, Sainsbury's vegan French dressing very low calorie this is not low calorie oh, look at that look at that now some of you have said that you haven't been able to find it this is what it is it's Tesco finest garlic and parsley chia batter as you can see there clearly marked vegan it's absolutely delicious and very substantial mm. uh, do you want to have a try of the um, the pesto bromas yeah I mean in terms of the pasta I'm going to keep the <laughs> camera on you I think the, you've used in it all that's right mm. Mm. oh yeah it's lovely oh yeah it's got a, a, a nice sweetness to it. It's not too sweet. No, but it's going to need a bit of salt for me. Same. Yeah. yeah. A bit of salt and a bit of black pepper on that and it'll be gorgeous. And you know, boil up some pasta, whack in a jar of pesto, bit of salad on the side. You've got a gorgeous, really healthy, very nutritious dinner. And we can really vouch, by the way, for wholemeal pasta. It's gorgeous. It really is. Mm -hmm. It's got more of a bite. It takes longer to cook. Better for you. More of a bite. Um, so yeah, two thumbs up on the pesto and one more look at the garlic bread packaging so that you know what you're looking for if you want to find it in the future. There you go. Pesto pesto, salad and garlic bread. Bye loves. Hello my loves, it's Monday night and therefore the final night of this meals vlog. We've not been in work today, it's been bank holiday and we're off tomorrow. Bloody yay! <laughs> um, I had some Maris Pipers left, so 
I said to Jay, whatever I'm having tonight, it's going to be mash. Anyway, I've done the mash, but I've put a load of nooch in there and English mustard mm. to make it a nooch mustardy mash. Tin of mushy peas with some frozen peas mixed in and a couple of spring onions chopped in. And three classic Linda McCartney sausages. We've got our uh, Michigan hot sauce ready for the sausages. Couple of slices of bread each. Yeah, been a, been an all right weekend, doesn't it, Broms? It's not been bad at all. Lots of uh, lots of things done. People seen and family. Con- and considering we've still got two days off work. Two days. Tomorrow and Tuesday. No, tomorrow is Tuesday. No, tomorrow is Monday. Oh, I'm very confused. Monday to see, I see, see what happens, folks. Tomorrow's Tuesday. That's our last day off work, and then we're back in Wednesday. Of course, this is Monday. Oh, that you know what that was? Wishful bloody thinking. That's what that was. I console myself with sausage mash and peas. <laughs> <laughs> it's the northern thing to do. See you on the next one. Bye, loves. <laughs> <laughs>